What's up guys, Travis Ford here with Ford Fitness. You're about to watch probably the most requested video on my channel, but before that, I wanted to insert this video to let you guys know of a couple things. First off, huge shout out to breadbaskets.com for sending me these awesome meal prep containers and some other stuff which you'll see in the video. These containers, I can wholeheartedly say are the best meal prep containers that I've had so far. I'm recording this video a few days after recording my initial meal prep, and now I can 100% say that these are the best meal prep containers that I've ever used. Secondly, after watching this video, if you agree with me, you can get 10% off with coupon code Ford Fitness. It'll be right here. Just use that coupon code and you can try whichever one of these containers you want. And there's some other stuff that I'm not gonna tell you about. You're gonna have to watch the rest of this video to find out. But you'll get a discount on that too. What's up guys, Morgan here with Ford Fitness, and today we're here to do another meal prep. All right guys, so today we are going vegetarian. This is a huge, probably the most requested video on my channel. They've sent me some really, really interesting meal prep containers that I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's dive into those and then we're gonna get started with this meal prep. So they sent me five different containers from their Eco Takeout line. The most interesting one, to me at least, is this soup container. I really like this guy. It's got a screw on lid, super tight, and it's got a little handle, just in case you know whatever you put in there is too hot. One thing I like about all of these is that the plastic these are made out of is way, way more durable than any meal prep container set that I've seen, and that is not an exaggeration. So first up, we've got this guy. It's your standard clear uh, prep container. Lid is attached though which I really like. It's got the standard three compartment style makeup. And then we've got one that's really similar to it. Um, but this guy's got deeper, I think it's deeper. Yeah, it's deeper. This is probably the one that I'm gonna utilize the most. And if you see, so I've unlashed it and it's still kind of attached. These are leak resistant as well, which is super awesome. You're not sacrificing, you know, the standard meal prep containers. They're really good at holding in. Um, loose liquids you're not sacrificing that with this with the attached lid style and then you've got a whole compartment um this is just so this is just gonna be one big old compartment and then we've got a smaller guy for like you know little single dishes um so yeah you know they're still meal prep containers there's nothing super crazy about them but for someone that meal preps every day and you know wants their stuff to last this is the answer. These guys are super, super thick. Um, a lot of companies that claim to have durable meal prep containers, I usually see them cracking. Um, I did a couple reviews in the past, uh, and after a while, those containers started to crack. I haven't had these for too long, so I cannot say, but just by feeling them, um, the plastic is a lot thicker, and I think these are gonna hold up a lot better. But without further ado, let's get into that meal prep. So our ingredients today are going to be four bell peppers, any color you choose, uh, rice. Today we're going to do half white rice, half cauliflower rice, cheese, onion, a can of black beans, two cans of seasoned diced tomatoes and green chilies, olive oil, and our seasonings today are going to be ground cumin, garlic salt, and chili powder. And we're also gonna be using Denver and his favorite towel. Like Morgan said, with the rice situation, we're gonna be doing two with just white rice and two with the um, riced cauliflower. I've never had this before, um, so that's why we're doing two. This is probably the healthier option, definitely. Um, but we don't know how it's gonna taste, so we're gonna try these out with two of our bell peppers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350. Alright, so we've got our bell peppers lined up here to take a bath. Morgan is going to rinse these off. And now we're going to take the stickers off of these guys and put them in a pot to start boiling. So we're gonna bring a large pot of water to a boil and we're gonna add a little bit of salt in there. And then once the water is boiling, we're gonna add those bell peppers in to fully cook. 
So remember when I told you guys that that soup container was my favorite part about this entire set? Well, I may have lied a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is actually what excites me the most about their entire line. These are pre-measured portion spoons and ladles. We've got a half cup spoon, a half cup ladle, a quarter cup spoon, and a quarter cup ladle. These are essential, guys. I don't know why I never thought about this. Basically, you're gonna use these to measure out all of your portions that don't need to be weighed. And these are gonna be separate from your cooking utensils, which is really gonna free up and save a lot of time in your meal prep process. I can promise you guys, we're gonna be using this for this video. So as for the cauliflower, this is just simple microwavable um, cauliflower that we got from Walmart. You can just throw it in the microwave in the bag. So there's nothing really to this cooking wise. So before we throw these guys in to boil, we're going to cut them open and gut them. So the water is boiling and we're going to throw the bell peppers in to start cooking. All right, so we're going to leave these for three to four minutes to fully cook. Bell peppers are boiling and now it's time for the part that I've been dreading the most, cutting up this onion. Okay, so while we're waiting on the rice and the bell peppers, we're gonna start sauteing these onions. You're gonna wanna saute about half a cup of onions until they're transparent. So the recipe calls for two cups of rice. So we're gonna do one cup of rice and then one cup of the riced cauliflower. And then this is gonna be our half cup spoon so we're doing two spoonfuls of that to get exactly one cup. Right. And now we're using the one half cup ladle. And now we're going to split the onions in half. And now, same goes for the black beans. So we're supposed to be doing 14 ounces. Unfortunately, one of these cans is 10 ounces. So we're gonna be using a full can and then four ounces from another can. All right, so time for our seasonings. We're gonna be doing half of a teaspoon of garlic salt for each, half a teaspoon of chili powder for each, a quarter a teaspoon of ground cumin for each, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt for each. And we decided just to add just one crack of salt rather than a quarter of a teaspoon since we're already using garlic salt and we did put some salt in the water for the bell peppers. And now we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of cheese to the both of these. We're using our quarter cup ladle. And now we're just gonna fold it all together. Okay, so now Travis is going to divide each of the mixtures into the bell peppers using the ladle. Using the ladle. So 
So we do have a little extra left over. Keep in mind that you can just have these as like a burrito bowl. Um, we've used all that we need to in these. So yeah, you probably will have a little extra left over. You can tweak your um, ingredients accordingly if you don't wanna have any left over. And now we're gonna add the finishing touches on these guys before throwing them in the oven. They're gonna go in for about 30 minutes. All right, just pulled these guys out of the oven and they are smelling amazing. I cannot wait to try these. To put these in our meal prep containers, I think I'm gonna cut them in half and then lay them sideways or I might actually use the soup container. I don't know, we'll have to see. So it actually ended up working out really, really well. We used two of the single portions if you wanted to keep them whole and not cut it in half. Um, if you wanted to cut them in half, the double portion without the divider works really, really well for that. Um, and then I'm guessing the other ones with, you know, the three portions and whatnot, it's gonna be good for your simpler meals like your rice and beans and whatnot, uh, more deconstructed stuff. I cannot wait to try this. It smells really, really good in my kitchen right now. Once again, huge thanks to breadbaskets.com for sending me these awesome meal prep containers and thank you so much for adding these spoons and ladles. I didn't even know they were coming, but they are super handy. They really came in handy, especially for this video. I will definitely be using them in the future. I will have a link to them in the description for you guys to check out. And if I can snag a discount code, I will also have that in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's been a hugely requested video, so I hope it turned out well. Stay strong, y'all.